hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to apply formula in excel worksheet in power automate desktop so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started here i have excel worksheet where i want to apply the formula in this sheet i have column as first name last name company name role in company address email and phone number and let's say in this sheet what you want to do is you want to apply a formula on column h to add the first and last name okay how you do it manually is you put equals to and then you specify the first column value right which is on the first row and then you use ampersand to add and then you specify the column D which means what would the value is on the in the column D at the first row that will be appended but if you want to add a space then what you can do is you can put double quotes and give a space and then press enter you can see here that this has been added first and last name has been added and if you double click on it this formula will be applied on the remaining rows right but how to do this using power automate to do that what we will do is I'll go back to the power automate desktop and then I will and then what I will do is I will use attached to running Excel and I will specify the document name which is challenge.xlsx and it will be stored in the Excel instance for why I'm using this attached to running Excel because this is already open I will click on save now what I want to do is I want to write a formula right so what I'll do is I will take write to Excel worksheet I will choose the instance as Excel instance for and then I will specify the formula which is equals to and then what what value is there on a2 right and then ampersand and between that i want to put a space so i just put double quotes and space and then the value of b2 and this i want to do it on the column h right I want to write this formula on column H and row 2 I have done this as row 2 and then I will click on save now what I will do is I will right click on attach to running Excel and then click on run from here I will go back to Excel and here you can see that it has appended the value right I will delete this after writing this value what I want to do is I want to find out the gift first free row and column what it will do is it will find the first free column and also the first free row when we will execute this action which is get first free column slash row what it will give us it will give us the column row number as 12 and the column as h right because this is the first free row and this is our first free column now I will go back to the power automate desktop 
here I'll choose the Excel instance and then I will click on save right after doing this what I want to do is on column H and in the second row I have written this formula I want to copy it okay to copy it I will use copy cells use the Excel instance code and then column as H and the row as 2 so this value will be copied and then what I want to do is I want to select the cells because I want to apply this formula on the remaining rows so I'll choose the Excel instance as 4 and here I will specify the range of cells which is column H row 2 and what will be the end column end column should be on H right so end column is going to be column 3 because first free column is uh, first free column is being stored in the first free column 3 and in the row I can choose as row 3 minus 1 or I can just specify this H so in the column H from the second row in the column H the last row which is going to be row 12 I do not want to drag this uh, uh, this formula till row 12 I want to do it till 11 only that is why I will make this row 3 minus 1 and then I will click on save so till here it will select the it will copy the value from column H and row 2 and then it will select the cells in the column H and till column 11 now what I want to do is I want to paste it for that what I will do is I will take the mouse and keyboard and then I will send key from here I will choose window instance handle and the instance is excel instance port because this is where I want to paste this value to paste something what we will do is we normally do control V for that I will go and click on insert modifier and select control and in this round bracket I will put curly bracket and then specify control V so what this will do is this will paste the value whatever we have copied from column H and row 2 now what I'll do is I will right click on it and then I will click on run from here now the board is running it has copied and it has pasted the value as you can see till row to 11 now here you can see that it is a formula right so we have copied the formula and applied it on all the cells correct so now what we can do is I'll go back to the power automate desktop and what I will do is I'll copy this action select action number six and before that I'll select all the cells correct and then I will also mention it as uh, from range of cells so which is 
H2 and H and here I'll take row 3 firstly row 3 minus 1 and then I will copy this send keys and paste it here and what I will do is I will use a formula uh, not a formula but a shortcut to take out the values uh, from the formula that we have applied on that column H right so for that we have a shortcut as so we have a formula as alt so first will be your alt key and inside that we will specify as we will specify e the another key which we will send is s and the next one will be v and after this we will send the enter key right so when you will send this shortcut key it will pull out the value from that formula and write it in the column right i will click on save but before running this i would like to show you uh, this shortcut working in excel i'll go back to the excel and here you can see that it is a you know formula on every cell it is a formula so I'll make the selection I'll press ctrl C on my machine and then I'll send alt key then E then S and the moment I will press V it will select the values and then press enter and now you can see in column H there is no formula now it has extracted the value and pasted it in the column so this is a paste special shortcut correct I'll select the column H and I'll press ctrl minus which will delete the column and then I will go back to the power automate desktop and then I will right click on action number one and say run from here so now the bot is running it will attach it will copy paste and now it you can see that it has extracted the value so there is no formula in column H so this is how you can apply formula in Excel using power automate desktop and also you can send shortcut keys you know to copy paste the value if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day